Hey friends and welcome to another video. It's a daily message for Tuesday, February 15th. Uh, a couple things today. I was called to use some specific stones. I recently cleaned all my stones so they're all fresh and dandy. Um, on this side we have the tiger's eye. Uh, it's a stone for self-confidence, strength, mental clarity, and protection. As well as howlite on this side, the calming stone for patience and whenever we need to feel like we need to uh, slow down and create some distance between distracting thoughts. Uh, so this is great for compassion, awareness, um, and it's just a very spiritual stone. So like, why not? Um, I'm also donning my um, my jean jacket with this wonderful patch that I freaking love and I get so many compliments on mean people suck. Um, this is like my emotional armor um, sort of jacket. Um, whenever I put this on I'm always sort of like, it's a reminder for me mostly that um, I have a choice in how I express myself to other people. Um, and that I also have a choice in accepting how I want people to interact with me as well. So this was just some energy I picked up on this morning um, that I was actually coming. Like, I know that this the readings this week have been really fun, flirtatious, and there's a lot of um, ambition and desire sort of like flying around, I think. And that's good. It's just there's also a chance for um, ideas to clash. You know, just a little bit of friction. So that's why we're being called to slow down, uh, be more self-aware, uh, make sure that you're consciously expressing yourself um, so that the messages that come out are the ones that you want. Um, and definitely aligned with, you know, your intentions. So Self-confidence, clarity, protection, calming, <laughs> patience, slow it down. That's what we got today, okay? And yeah, I've been reading off my notes because I got fun notes for all my crystals. Okay, let's get into it, y'all, because this is, um, that was just my message for this morning. It's like what I'm coming into this with, but I did do a little meditation and... Uh, my friend Liz was up this morning, strangely. I like woke up at four to write down a dream and just like couldn't go back to sleep. So here we are. And I love it when your friends are up at the same hours that you are and they're not supposed to be. It was just totally random. Um, but yeah, talking to her was nice. Let's get a few messages from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck. Finding Sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. Infinite Abundance, abundance is pouring into your life. Yep. Mystic Healer, healing energy flows through you. That's so nice. So here we have a reminder that, you know, in each of us is the capacity um, to sort of open ourselves to a channel of abundance that's always available to us. Um, we do this by um, getting quiet through meditation, through our own, you know, special language with the universe. And, and, um, and honestly, it's, it's a lot about, I feel like our relationship to ourselves, right? Like this inner talk again is sort of like a theme or a feeling that I'm getting. Healing energy flows through you. You, you know, we all have the capacity to heal ourselves. And then when we are healed, we also have the capacity to heal others. And what, what else does the world need right now besides more of that? Infinite abundance. Like I said, it's like, it's everywhere. It's always available to us. This sort of positivity. If we just open ourselves more to, um, I'll say in my words, you know, what's, what's really important and then shedding the rest. Shedding the stuff that doesn't matter. 
focus on all the all the beautiful wonderful things here um on this card of infinite abundance there's like three women holding like a sheet under a tree and this man and this boy are like i'll just show you they're you see like they're collecting apples they're working together to harvest infinite abundance it's a harvest sort of feeling yeah for the common good for the collective do what are, do what is the highest good for the collective um releasing ego focus on healing okay let's see what else seven of pentacles in reverse i can't remember if i'm reading reversals again okay yeah let's do it uh we have the strength card the hermit queen of wands the tower um a lot of major arcana cards four of cups in the middle six of cups eight of pentacles in reverse six of wands in reverse and three of pentacles in reverse Um, what I'm noticing right away is that in the center of the card, we, sorry, of the spread, we have the four of cups, which is the energy of like apathy or boredom. And so under this line of infinite abundance, um, literally this, look, that's the ace of cups right there, a symbol of the infinite abundance. And we are over here. Oops, where is he? been like no thanks someone is closed off from this and i don't know why if anything it might be because someone is either in their head a lot or still trying to find where this source is because we have the hermit here someone's looking a little bit too closely at the details or being kind of like nitpicky or something versus abundance isn't in the details it's not in the numbers it's not like how much money you have in the bank account it's not you know it's not the number of likes like um, I'm getting like vanity metrics sort of here in terms of um, life points or something like that. It's not about that. Abundance is, uh, first of all, way more broad, uh, way more accessible and way less tangible. Right. It's the we're talking about the energy of abundance. It does require some vulnerability, again, because we have the strength card, right? And that's compassion. That's also sun. That's also, um, oh, so I love what we got the tiger's eye here. I'll put that right on the strength card. Um, it, I'll say this. It requires some level of um, vulnerability to admit when we've made a mistake or when we need to when not even a mistake just when we acknowledge within ourselves room to grow like we don't like to look at that i feel like what's happening here or what happened in the past for somebody or for some of you is that there's something in your life that has opened your eyes to a change that needs to occur but what i'm seeing is that their work is being avoided because we're too much into the details of that so maybe you are um sort of um, getting in your own head about like why can't I get this right like I'm such a fool like why am I not you know like there's a self-critique sort of energy about this um, instead of just allowing yourself to make mistakes and and then like okay next time I'll get it you know There's something here, there's there's like some fire energy, again, showing up here, the Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands, but the Six of Wands is in reverse. So, I, and then we have another Six, the Six of Cups. I do believe that there, there is a, um, there's a lot of power in choosing to uh, process things alone. 
there's a lot that is like a really bold um it's a it's just a move that requires a lot of uh self-awareness and courage and and that like we all need um a shoulder right we all need someone like that best friend who's going to pull you out before you get too deep and um maybe that's maybe that's who this queen of wands is because her energy for me definitely is the one of like the one who's got your back okay so she's showing up here gender doesn't matter but it it's almost like if she shows up she's she's arming you with the knowledge that you're worthy and that you're qualified to do this work for yourself we have the six of cups that's looking at the past like our childlike nature so again leo i'd say leo is showing up here a lot tomorrow's the full moon in leo um feel free to google google it and learn more about the significance of the moon or how you can use its energy but the three of pentacles here in reverse you know three of pentacles is the card of collaboration so that's why i'm saying like this is inner child work inner stuff that you need to sort of suss out on your own and if you're uh, brave enough to sort of dip into that um, and find the joy of um, the in this infinite abundance slow down just enough to realize the things that are always here for you that support you um, let's clarify the uh, queen of wands real quick Page of Cups. Hmm. Six of Wands. Temperance. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even surprised that Temperance came out. I was thinking about that card this morning. Just just like the energy of it temperance is um i think that somebody wants to because of the energies the energy is something like you want to get to the finish line um this is you can you can really blame sort of like the astrological report from yesterday sort of you know like what's going on here about um remember like our emotions are fueling um our desires or was it the other way around desires f desires causing like a f um a rush of emotions and those emotions need processing now when we're stuck in this place of a lot of emotions uh we take uh the quick route to uh resolving some kind of issue right there's less, like you let it all out um this page of cups you know, this is about expecting the unexpected. It's about listening to your subconscious. I think just another reminder to slow down and really listen to what your body is trying to tell you when emotions arise. Temperance in reverse. If this is the card of patience and Six of Wands is success, we have to flip. think about how we flip these upside down. There will be success if we can just slow down and listen and learn from what is going on the these two cups are pouring in and out of each other it's all it's like a very alchemical sort of idea of what do you do with these emotions what do you do with them to have a victory what does that look like to you um mystic healer shows up it reminds me very it's very much chiron where it's like the the wounded healer the wounds you have become your strengths when you can work through them and then you can help others process those same things but what i'm getting right now like if the, if, if this you're watching this message so you will get it because you're getting the message right but if this remains un um unaddressed and remains unresolved there's going to be a lot of um, feelings of wasted efforts. 
and I don't know what it is, um, different people, right, like in your own lives, you might be investing into something that isn't turning out the way you want it to be, and so maybe that's causing some sort of emotional upheaval. Anyway, it could be linked to a sudden realization um, and wanting to, like, f find comb through something. Virgo's here, the hermit. It's like receipts. You're not really willing to see the abundance that is available to you because you're too focused on, like, show me the receipts. Instead of sitting, calming down, sit with your emotions and process them. It's like take a deep breath and then and then speak. All right. I think that's it for now. Sorry, this was a sticky one, but um yeah. So take care of yourselves. Have a good day. Um tap into this infinite abundance that is always available to you if you open to your spiritual source. Healing energy flows through you. Have some. Okay. Take care, guys. I'll see you on the next video.